Hi everybody, today I'm going to cook kimchi soup. Kimchi soup is a very yummy and healthy food. Most Koreans love kimchi because kimchi is a very very essential dish for Koreans. With the kimchi, we cook a lot of uh, kimchi food such as kimchi fried rice, kimchi soup, and kimchi pancake, and braise the kimchi with the pork. When we Koreans eat our meals, we need three to four side dishes. When I don't have enough side dishes in my kitchen, I cook kimchi soup for my daily meal. Now let's go for it. First thing I need to do is to cut ingredients. I'm going to cut onion. And I need spring onion. I'm going to make a diagonal cut. And I'm going to use pork. This is 200 grams of pork. I'm going to cut into three to four centimeter cube. into chunk like this. I'm going to save it for later. Now we have today's main character, the kimchi. This is around 40% of the whole cabbage. It's almost like 10 months. Even though it takes 10 months over fermentation, it's still crispy, but it gets sour and very umami because it's well fermented. And this is really nice kimchi for kimchi food, such as kimchi soup, and kimchi fried rice, and kimchi pancake. So for this, I'm going to cut into pieces. And I don't need this part. Also, this kimchi, I'm going to save it for later. Prep is done. First thing I need to do is fry pork. Pour just a little bit of oil, around one and a half spoon. You can put your pork without frying into a uh, boiling water, but if you fry a little bit and the fried pork will give a better taste in your kimchi soup. And you don't have to worry about the bottom. And this is when we boil our water with the kimchi and this is the bottom will be scratched. Fried rice just like a roasting. And when the surface is cooked, save the pork for later. I'm going to add uh, one spoon of sesame oil. Pour my kimchi here. So that the kimchi are really good. Fry your kimchi for about two minutes. And this processor will keep the kimchi maintain its uh, crispy texture. And I'm going to add the Fry the pork. Mix. And pour one liter of water. And I'm going to add the sliced onion. And let it boil.
when it starts to boil, I'm going to season with the soy sauce. First, start with one spoon. Taste, and then you can choose how much uh, soy sauce or salt you put. It's totally up to your style. Here, I'm going to add just half a spoon of soy sauce. And boil this kimchi soup for about 10 minutes, but the longer you boil, the tastier it gets. Which means, if you boil your kimchi soup tomorrow again, it gets a little bit better. Because there's uh, some great substance from the kimchi will come out when you boil a longer time. Now put your spring onion two minutes before you finish. Cover the lid. Boil two more minutes. It is done now. I'm going to pour this kimchi soup in a bowl. 